All right, what's happening, everybody? Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. Um, this is the next episode, the next, yeah, next episode of the Personal Finance Series. Um, in this episode, I'm going to talk about increasing your cash flow. <clears throat> One of the things that is often never talked about is the fact that in order to pay down debt um, anything having to do with reaching a financial goal in particular paying down debt it's a twofold thing that really has to go on in order to pay your debt down. The, the first thing is that you need to stop using your credit. So that means you have to stop spending with credit. You have to decrease your spending. That's, that's the first part. You have to decrease your spending that means that you have to stop using your credit cards to buy shit. You have to do it. It's not it's not optional. You got to lower your spending and ultimately decrease your spending to the point where you stop spending and using your credit cards to spend. Cuz this, this this is how you got into debt in the first place. The second part of that is increasing your cash flow. Now, increasing cash flow is also important when it comes to creating wealth because let's say for example that you want to begin to build your investments. Meaning that you want to start investing long term. You want to start um building a position and a foundation for your wealth creation to take place. This means that you need a plan in place. You need to be able to, for example, start putting aside $200, $300 a month consistently. And you want to ultimately increase that. So in order to increase the amount that you're putting aside, you have to increase your cash flow. You can increase your cash flow by lowering your debts, which ultimately lower the payments that you have to make on your debt. So just as an example, let's say that you have five credit cards and they have different balances on them. Um, one effective way, I know that there are two um, methods that you, you guys have probably heard of. One is called the snowball method, and I think one is called the avalanche, something like that. But basically, one of them, I don't know which one it is, it entails you taking the lowest balance that you have on a card and paying off your lowest balances first. I know that that's one method. Another method is to take the card that has the highest interest rate, which means that the, the, the card that you're paying the most interest on, you start attacking that card first. Doesn't really make a difference which one you decide to do first. The objective is to eliminate the payments that you have on your cards. So if you have five cards, and let's say that, that your minimum payments vary anywhere from $40 to $250 because you got some cars that might have big balances on them and you have some cars that have small balances on them. So let's take the one that has the smallest payment on it, 40 bucks, right? Whatever the balance is on that card, instead of you just paying the minimum of 40, you pay more. And you can start doing this right away without really adding on cash flow yet. 
This is just a way for you to free up cash flow from existing payments that you have. So if you're paying 40 on the lowest card, you attack that card until you pay that balance off. So that frees up the $40. That $40 gets added to your cash flow because now that's $40 less that you have to pay towards a debt that you can use to put towards creating wealth, okay? So I'm just, I'm using this just as an example because your plan could be to completely get out of debt first before you start trying to build wealth. I don't recommend you doing that though. I recommend that you start to, to build your foundation for wealth now. In fact, I recommend that you pay yourself first, meaning that you start putting money aside before you even pay your other bills for building your foundation for creating wealth. You need to do that first. Why is that so important? Because you have to begin to build the habit of putting money aside to build your wealth. So the same way that you have a thought process about paying your bills, building wealth should be the same thought process that you have. Look at look at building wealth as a bill that you have to pay. If you think about it that way, it will ensure that you do it. So if you if you say, "All right, I got to pay this bill first." But this bill is your wealth creation bill. If this is how you process it mentally, you'll do it. And it'll be effective as well. So if you start to build your wealth based on looking at building wealth as if you're paying a bill, it means that you gotta do that first. You have to do that before you pay the other bills. So this bill gets paid first, then the other bills get paid, okay? So now, increasing your cash flow. How, how are we doing that? This is one way, the way that I'm breaking down now. You attack the smallest balance that you have on a card, and when you pay that balance off, it frees up that minimum payment, and you add that onto your cash flow. So let's say that you start off paying or, or putting aside, I should say, $100 for building your wealth. $100 every month. And you still got these debts over here. You got these cars that you have to pay over here. You take the lowest one, whatever that lowest balance is, you start to attack that card. So you're not gonna just pay the minimum of $40. You, you need to pay another 50 to $100 extra so that you pay that card off. Oh, but Mark, I don't have any extra money to pay for it. Okay, this is where increasing your cash flow comes in. Now, how can you go about increasing your cash flow? There's a number of different ways. And some of y'all may not like it, but you need to do it. Get another job. Get a part-time job. Drive Uber, Lyft, Instacart, Uber Eats, all these, all these apps that you can access. If you have a car, you can do Uber Eats, Instacart. You can do all that. You can drive for Uber and, and you can drive for Lyft. And the, the extra money that you make is immediate cash flow. With these apps, you get paid instantly. As soon as you complete whatever the task is, like if you're driving for Uber or Lyft, when you complete a ride, that money is instant. It's instantly deposited into your account. You can withdraw that money instantly. They even got debit cards. Like, 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 this is new to me because when I started digging and, and looking at different ways and different opportunities that people can use to, to create more cash flow, I'm like, are you kidding? Like, this is the stuff that is available? Uber and Lyft have a debit card. They have a card that your money goes on to and you get paid instantly. So as soon as you complete whatever the ride is, as soon as you pick somebody up and drop them off, the money's in your account. It's there. Uber Eats, same thing. You pick up food, you drop it off at somebody's house. The money's in your account. 
And I, you know, I hear people complaining about using these apps. Oh, they don't pay enough money. Oh, but it doesn't pay that much. I don't give a shit how much it pays. Just the fact that you can go out and earn money is cash. You can literally go out and get cash flow. You know how powerful that shit is? I don't care what I don't care what it is. I don't want to hear no complaining. I don't want to hear oh it don't pay enough. It doesn't pay much. Uh uh uh. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Get a part-time job somewhere. Go do go become a waiter. Waiters get cash tips. You can make a lot of money. This I, I know waitresses. I tip them. I talk to waiters and waitresses all the time. Some of them make more money than y'all do. Two and three hundred dollars a night, depending on on where they work at, what restaurant or what bar, or whatever, or whatever the night might be. So whatever you're complaining is, stop fucking complaining. Go get money. Go get it. There's money out here, and I don't care where you live at either. Oh, but I, don't, I live in a small town. I don't give a shit. If uh, if you live in a small town, I guarantee you that one of these apps, somebody's using an app. Because people don't be wanting to leave their house. People pay for Uber Eats, and they pay for shit all the time, all day, every day. I see it everywhere. I see videos of people doing it in rural areas, in the sticks. People ordering Uber Eats and shit like that. That means that the app works there. That means you can make money delivering food to somebody. You complaining about your debt. You complaining about not having enough money. Go do something and generate cash flow. You got all these different ways to do it now. Increase your cash flow. Go do it. Don't complain. Go do it. It's just like learning how to trade. It takes you time. It takes you energy. You have to train. You have to develop the skill set so that you understand how the market moves. And as you develop this skill set, it gives you the ability to go into the market and generate cash flow. You can start with a very small amount of money and you can build up that money in your account until it becomes large enough to generate a large enough cash flow so that each time that you're in the market and you trade, you generate cash flow and that cash comes to you. You have to increase your cash flow. So again, just to recap, what am I talking about? Increase your cash flow, that's what I'm talking about. Lower your payments on your bills, on your credit cards, and in order to do that, you gotta pay your cards off. So you take whatever the lowest balance is first, start with that one, the one you got a, a $40 minimum payment on, pay that one off first, it frees up $40 a month right there, boom. Some of y'all got too many extra bills. Some of y'all still pay for cable. $100 or more for cable. Cut the cable off. You Don't you know that these TVs got the apps already on them and TV is free? So, I, so what are you paying for? To watch what? Why are you in the house trying to watch shit your bills are, are your, your your debt is increasing. You're increasing your debt. Watching movies and, and 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 goofing off and doing shit like that, playing games, whatever it is that you're doing that you're paying all of this money for. Why are you why why are you paying for all of this shit? Why? Cut them off. That frees up cash flow. So increase your cash flow. There are a bunch of different ways to do it. A myriad of different ways to do it. Like I said, get one of these apps. Download Uber, Lyft. Get, you know, whatever their requirements are for your, for where you live at. You got you have your car, hop in your car, turn the app on, go drive, pick people up, drop them off, and get money. Do Uber Eats, pick up food, drop it off, get money. Instacart, whatever whatever these apps are, all of this shit. It's a lot of shit. 
You got all, it's, it's all on these phones. It's all on here. These phones have all type of shit on them. All these different apps and all these different ways you can make money. I don't want to hear you complaining about shit. And I hear this shit a lot. That's, anytime you go out, this is what people always have. Their conversations is complaining. First world problems. Oh, I'm, I'm in too much debt. Pay your fucking debt off. Stop spending so much money. Stop spending money on shit. If I'm out eating and I'm listening to you out eating in the same restaurant with me, complaining about how much debt you have, maybe you shouldn't be eating out. Cut your eating out. Cut your eating out, out. <laughs> Eat out less. Stop complaining. Because you have no room to complain when you have all these different opportunities that are available to you to increase your cash flow. So again, it's a two it's a twofold thing. You have to lower your credit card payments. That frees up cash flow. If you don't have any extra money to do that with, go out and download one of these apps and stop complaining about shit. Get on the app and get some cash flow. Take that cash flow and pay your debts down. And while you at it, start your 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 wealth creation and build the foundation over there as well. So your wealth creation should become a new bill. I'm going to talk about that in the next episode of the wealth creation series. I'm going to get to it. So this is episode number three, personal finance. This thing about the cutoff now, so I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to talk to you on the next one. Y'all can see I'm very passionate because I be out, I'm outside a lot now. I'm listening to people. I'm seeing what's going on. People are complaining about shit. People are talking about politics and who's going to be president. I don't give a shit. Bottom line is you need to get your shit together. And that's it. Mark Fuller, Team Alliance. I'm out. Peace.